our first goal of the night is B-roll. So let's get people talking, schmoozing, all of the art on the walls. And I mean all of the art. And once we're finished, we'll find Jesse and interview him. Hey, do you want to interview any of these other people? No, let's just focus on the man of the hour. Hey, I am so glad that you guys could make it. We wouldn't miss it. This is a key scene for the project. This is actually really exciting. I've never had anyone want to shoot me or my stuff before. Oh yeah, we're really excited to be here too. Yeah, man, it's really gonna help us pass. <laughs> Don't listen to him, he's just joking around. Yeah, yeah, of course, obviously. So we're gonna grab some B-roll, and then we'll meet back up with you in about half an hour or so to set up a mini interview. Would that be all right? Yeah, take as much time as you need, Grace. Grace, that's such a beautiful name. It sounds so divine. God, I would never understand artists. <sighs> Look, can we just get the shots we need and go? Yes, let's work front to back. Okay, uh, we got all the paintings and we got more than enough of these snooty ass people. Uh, where's Jesse at? Um, oh, I think I see him back there. Let's just get this over with. Dude, what is your problem? What problem? Don't give me that shit, you know what I mean. Okay, look, I'm just not a fan of this Jesse guy, that's all. Man, Grace is not into you. Like, I know it, you know it, everybody knows it. Oh, come on, man, you are... Are you still recording this? Well, yeah, I mean, how else am I gonna play it back for you and you can hear just how much of a pussy you sound like right now? Well, look, I... D <sighs> Let's just go and do this. Listen, I need to pass this class. So for the love of God, do not fuck this up. Okay, let's get it done. And you see, the blood phoenix is what we truly all are. If it wasn't for the blood phoenix, what would we truly be if we fell and never rose? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Oh, hey, guys. Did y'all get everything you were looking for, and um, are you enjoying the show? Yeah, you know, I never realized how much people drank at these things. It's a... <clears throat> no offense. <clears throat> are we able to steal you away for a quick interview? Um... Yeah, sure. Awesome. Um, let's get you in front of your artwork. Your, your new collection would make a perfect backdrop. Okay. Alright, let me know when the boom's in the shot. Yeah, bro. Dude, you're in. You're in. What? You're, you're in. <gasps> Michael! Ah, oh, that was an accident. Dude, I lost my grip. Fuck. What? Jesse, I am so, so sorry. Let's get you cleaned up. No. No. It's fine. Really. It's just a shirt. Um, <laughs> really, I'm more concerned about the wine than I am anything. It was kind of expensive. How about this? How about this? Let's go to my studio, and we can do the interview there. I can get a new shirt, and you guys can get some pretty fantastic footage. That would be amazing. What do you guys think? Good. I don't, okay. All right, great. Um, let me say bye to a few people, and I'll see you all outside. Okay. What the fuck, Michael? What? Are you trying to ruin this? No, I already told you, that you know was what? an accident. I don't wanna hear it. We're gonna go to Jesse's studio, we're gonna get a great interview, and pass. You got that? Yes. <laughs> hey, guys, hard to keep waiting. You know how people are, they just keep going. Anyways, no you guys ready to go? Uh, yeah. You wanna come with us or just meet there? Oh, no, we'll take my car. I already know the way, so it'll just be an easier drive. Okay, uh, cool. Just right down the street. <laughs> How far is your studio? Oh, not too far. It's just right up the road, actually. Ugh. It's so beautiful out here. It's really peaceful. <laughs> yeah, if you want to get killed by some backwoods rednecks.
Welcome to Studio Jesse. Wait, this is it? You know, judging by your paintings, I would have expected a bigger space. Michael, what the hell? Grace, it's fine. You should never judge a book by its cover. This isn't even where the painting actually takes place. This is just first part of the process. First part? How many are there? Three. You see, the oh, first oh, part- Oh, wait, um, save it for the interview. So Grace, uh, which would you prefer, red or gray? I say gray. It's a little more flattering and better for camera. Great choice. Thank you guys so much for doing this. This is just absolutely amazing. I've never had anyone want to interview me before. Honestly, it is our pleasure. Okay, Jesse. so I have some questions prepared. Um, depending on how you answer that, it may lead in some other or impromptu questions, but if there's anything you don't want to answer, you don't have to. All sound good? Got it. Awesome. Michael, let's get the boom in. Thank God I don't have any wine on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we all set? Rolling. Speed. Okay, Jesse, studio interview, scene one, Apple, take one. God, easy. Sorry. Okay, Jesse, could you please state your name and what it is you do, please? Sure thing. My name is Jesse Valentine and I am an abstract artist. Great. And where are you from originally? I come from middle Pennsylvania and then I moved to Philadelphia around four years ago to focus on my art. What part of Pennsylvania? Amish country. Oh, wow. I never would have guessed you lived around the Amish. With. Excuse me? With them, not just near them. I grew up in a very strict religious household. What was that like? When I was young, I didn't mind it. I saw the chores as kind of a game I could play and ones that would always win because I would be the first to get them done. And how did you discover art in such a strict household? The Amish have this thing called Rumspringa. It's where the teens will go out and see the outside world. Most will party, drink, have sex. I, on the other hand, had different plans. You see, the art in the church really caught my eye. The sight of pain and guilt just fascinated me, you know? When it came to leaving the farm, Booze and sex wouldn't do it for me. It was art. That was my escape, both mentally and physically. And how did your family take that? My family doesn't care. Why do you say that? My father and I never really saw eye to eye. And my mom, she just watched. Art, well, my art, at least, was seen as blasphemous. In, in what way? You see, I didn't really view religion as sacred as they did. I saw it as torture porn in a way. And I loved it. All the ways that men and women should be punished for going against God was fascinating. So I decided to make my own view of how men and women should be punished for going against God. That was the plan, after all. Um, you said you had a three-step process? Yes, yes, as Michael pointed out earlier, 
This is a rather small space. But this isn't where the art happens. This is where I brainstorm and lay out my next project. Are we able to see your next project? It would be an honor. Follow me. You guys rolling? Yeah, rolling. Sound speed. Okay, great. So Jesse, what's behind the curtain? My next masterpiece. Why don't you join me over here, Grace? And behold, the one true sufferer. Mary! The one who said nothing. The one who saw the pain and the torture. The one who saw our Lord and Savior from birth to death. This young lady has suffered the same negligence as our dear Mary. So she must suffer the same fate. This is my masterpiece! And all I'm missing is denial. Denial? What do you mean? You see, Peter has denied our Lord three times. He too turned witness to the torture. And now, I just need one final Hello everyone, Jesse here, and I would like to introduce you all to my masterpiece. Hail Mary, blessed are you of all women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.